Hi there, this is Jeff the Sound Guy with Sound and Light Technicians and I am doing a quick review on the new TrackSpot Bolt by High End Systems. Uh, it is a LED powered lighting fixture versus the old TrackSpot which has a 250 watt 24 volt halogen lamp in it. Uh, the benefit of the LED lighting is high-end systems claims that it lasts about 30,000 to 50,000 hours and uh, 30,000 hours I think it's got a 4% dimming whereas the old bulb uh, in the old track spot does not last nearly as long. Uh, the benefit of the track spot over a lot of the uh, HID systems is it has a, uh, a regular halogen bulb and the bulb costs about four dollars and that is a great deal for a bulb that's rated at 9,000 lumen for an Osram. Now I want to just go over this real quick with you. Here we go. We have the uh, we've got the track spot bolt right here, and taking a look at the track spot bolt, you can you can see it sitting here. Some of the benefits it has. And I'll kick on my flashlight so you can see. It's square. It has handles on each side of it. It has feet that are underneath it, which also protect the, uh, the controls. So you can see underneath there, you can see the exhaust fan outlet and the DMX. Now these run on a five pin DMX, not the three pin. Five pin is considered more of a professional grade light. And, uh, and then on the front of it, you have the control surface and that will give you control over the addressing, the, the personalities and things like that. Uh, you know, pan tilt, be able to tell maximum temperatures, set the fan uh, uh, parameters and things like that. The intake is on the top and the outlets. Actually, this might be that way. Sorry. All right, now here we have the old track spot. Now, the old track spot has no handles on it, but it is smaller. Uh, that is kind of a benefit for people who are on the road. Uh, it is about four inches shorter, and it's about four inches narrower. It has a rugged aluminum case, all one piece, except for, well, right there it's split. And it's kind of a similar design to the bolt. You can see. Now, one of the things that the old track spot does not have is it does not have handles on the sides or feet that you can set it on. So it kind of leaves this vulnerable down here. And uh, you can see down here the dip switches. This is how you program a track spot. It's got analog and it's got XLR inputs. These are all three pin. And then you've got your personalities and everything else. Now, one thing I want to point out is that the old track spot has the ability to have auto run mode and a lot of clubs and uh, DJs use auto run mode on it so that they can actually sit there and fly them, link them and they will run in an automatic mode and you don't have to mess with them. There's seven DMX channels that control the old track spot and you've got uh, shutter, bulb, dim to off, you have uh, gobo color, uh, gobo and color and you've got the X and Y on your mirror. So I want to go over this real quick. You can see inside here you've got a 250 watt bulb and a reflector. You've got a shutter right there. You have the color wheel. You have a gobo wheel. You've got a lens and all of those are controlled by separate motors that are replaceable. In here Right here, you have to adjust this focus point to get a good tight beam. All right, now, taking a look at the track spot bolt, looking over here at this thing. This is a whole different animal, but it uses the same principles. Right there is your LED, right there. You have the focusing lens, you have a heat sink for your LED, and take a look at the size of that heat sink. This LED puts out a tremendous amount of light. You've got your color wheel, you've got your gobo wheel, 
and the gobo wheel has rotating gobos. You've got an iris right in there. You've got an actual focus and then inside there is a fan that will come on and actually keep the dust and stuff, they call it anti-fogging fan, will actually help unfog the, uh, or keep the lens from fogging up. Same type of mechanism, same motors and everything. All right, now, one of the things that I find absolutely amazing about this bolt is when you look at it, I'm gonna put my hand up to this, that is a LED light source. You are actually able to see light through my hand. I'm gonna kill the lights in this area right now so you can get a better look at this. I can put my hand up to this light here. You can see through it pretty well. And the amazing thing is, is for an LED, look at how I can see through my hand. I'm looking that deep through my hand. I don't think any other LED I have ever seen in my life has that kind of power. And the amazing thing is I can actually feel the heat coming off this thing right now. All right, so what do we got here? Taking a look out here now, we have the TrackSpot LED on the right, and we have the track spot, old track spot on the left. Now you can definitely see the brightness of the bulb here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can get a little bit here. All right, and you can see you've got a very white light versus a very yellow light. Uh, the white light can be good and bad, in my opinion. Um, looking at the white light, some people look a little bleached out when, if you're using this for stage lighting, as a yellow light can make people look a little bit more natural. So that's one thing to consider, but for the most part, it gives you a very clean white light, and uh, you can also see the, the brightness there. Now, I, uh, I want to sit there, and I'm, I'm going to move this around a little bit. So, so I'm going to go left, right. So that gives you an idea just how fast that moves. And I'll put that up there on the ceiling so you can get a good, good look at that. So now you can see there's the LED. And then I'm going to sit there. And here is the And there's your speed. Okay, so one, two. So almost two count. And this thing here, we have one. I don't know if you can see the difference. Okay, I'm gonna go left to right. And I'm gonna do that with the track spot. And that gives you an idea of the actual panning speed of the new motors. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and run the track spot up on the ceiling. And I'm gonna put the new track spot bolt up on the ceiling. And you can see, one thing you can see is that it has a wider lens. Now, if I can remember how to change some of this. Let's see. So there's your gobos. It does have a gobo shake. And, uh, and the one thing I have to emphasize on this is this is a 24 channel light. So it, it takes a little bit. I don't have my spec sheet right now with me. So you can see some of the cool patterns it can do. The old track spot does not have that ability. Now I need to find the focus. Okay, there's iris. And there's a focus. There we go. So that's some of the things you can do with the, uh, the new track spot, which is cool. The old track spot, you had color. You had intermediate. You could spin your colors or move them. And you had gobos, which could move. So you could actually sit there with the old track spot as you could take a 
color and tell it I want it to change colors like this. So there I'm changing colors and spinning the gobo. But here you can actually do the spinning gobo with the stationary fixed gobo. Pretty cool stuff. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and uh, I'm gonna make the next video because I'm about 10 minutes and that's kind of long to watch a video. Actually, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna keep going. All right, so now we're looking at this, uh, this one here. So you can see right here, you have a focus control. And you can focus it, give it broad white beams, you can bring bring in the focus, you can broaden it up, give whatever patterns you want. It's pretty cool because the focus gives you an ability to do more than just, and then there you have an iris. Let me see here. All right, so there's your, I'm using a standard DMX controller, so it gives a different kind of a look to things. All right, so now I need a page up. All right, so there's that one gobo that was spinning. Now I can come back in and I can control the iris on it. Now you can imagine what this would look like if you had that pattern thrown out there. And I'm gonna stop this one off to the side here real quick. I'll just let that go nice and slow. So you can see that that's about the most you're going to get from a track spot. Now this thing here, this thing has so many controls. You can see some of the patterns. Now you can imagine this pattern in a fogged out environment. You're going to have multiple white beams in a in a tube which is going to look really cool that one i've used that already before there's white so a lot of patterns like that that would look great in a in a fogged environment so then you can come through here and you can actually uh rotate these if i can figure out there you go so you can rotate these patterns <laughs> there we go so now you got a rotation on this oops now it's stopped I'm not using an actual real programmed uh, controller I'm just using a, a little DMX controller here and I'm doing the individual controls so it does give you an idea of what you're looking at here I wanted to do this and there's your focus so, you know, if you, if you have a beam going up and you want to sit there and give a nice edge or you want to shrink it down, you can do all sorts of things with this track spot bolt. And it's been pretty impress, impressive with the... Uh, see, and there we've got that. Let's see if I can open the iris back up. So, like, there's another pattern. Very cool stuff. And, uh, you know, looking at this thing, you can see just how brilliant and bright the track spot bolt is compared to the old track spot. It really is a superior fixture. Um, but like I said, the only part about it is a lot of people are not going to want to have to run programs. But you've, there's a lot of programs out there that will run this. And uh, High End Systems is very uh, friendly when it comes down to working with systems and uh, you know different programs and trying to help you out uh, I've had great luck with uh, their programmers uh, Being very very friendly I'm going to bring this down here a little bit So you can imagine that that's going to give you a pretty good show There we go. Well, I don't really know how to make it spin with the uh, just a DMX board it's finding positions more than it's doing anything. And this is my problem is I don't know how to operate it more than anything else. So let's see. Oh. There we go.
So there's your there's your track spot bolt. And there it's doing a uh, slow strobe effect. Let's see here. There we go. I mean, that's pretty almost psychedelic looking. So I'm going to zoom in on this just a little bit. I don't know if this is picking up the colors just right, but uh, you know, like I said, you can just imagine this thing in a environment. And of course, you know, those are the things you can do. This, this light will do so much more. The scanning speed, the LED has a strobing effect that you can do with it. Um, let me see if I can get to find the strobe. Oops. Okay, so there's an there's the LED control, and you can see you can actually dim it. I know there's a strobe effect and I haven't figured that out yet but there is a lot of stuff you can do with this light it is just crazy how much they built into it it is uh, it is not even close to the same creature as the old track spots you know just the fact that it scans so fast and I'm gonna back this camera all the way out so you can kind of see a I don't know. I don't even know if this is picking up right. So, it gives you an idea how fast that thing scans back and forth. I mean, and then you compare that to the old track spot here. There's your old track spot. Maximum scanning speed which is still pretty fast but nothing compared to this look at that, I mean you can't even see it just a, just a strip Yep. so anyway that is the uh, old track spot versus the new track spot bolt sorry I don't have a better uh, better video on this I'm uh, I'm learning the uh, DMX programming on this. So, anyway, thanks for watching again. Hopefully, this was somewhat informative. I know it was uh, kind of a generic, simple video. And while this is working, you can see all the spinning gobos. You can see the motor in there. You can see the gobos turning. And one thing you can, I can say about these. Uh, these gobos in the gearing is this is aluminum it's not plastic like the uh, like a lot of lights it's not a plastic gear set it's metal and uh, you can't really beat that so anyway thanks again for watching my name is Jeff and uh, I uh, appreciate your video feedback if you want to give me some feedback and have a great